person that I idolized the most, uh, the person that I've learned the most from in my life has been my grandmother. There are certain moments, there are certain times in your life, and there are certain dates that you'll never forget. And um, there's also certain lessons that you'll never forget. And even the lessons that she's taught me, I run my basketball program from those lessons to this day. One of the lessons that come to mind that I really remember is, and I'll never forget this moment, it was April the 1st, 1984. This particular day, the phone just kept ringing over and over and over and over again. And I get on the phone, and it's one of my mother's friends, and she says, Puffy, where's, where's your mom at? And I was like, she in, she in the living room. What's going on? She can't come to the phone right now. She said, well, tell her she got to come to the phone. And I give my mom the phone, and I was like, Mom, what's going on? And she said, run, tell your grandma Marvin Gaye died. And I just run into her arms. I was like, Grandma, Grandma. She was like, boy, what's wrong with you? And she hugged me. And I was like, Mom told me to tell you Marvin Gaye died. She's like, what? So she turns on the, on the TV, and we only had like three channels, and she turns on the TV, and they're doing a news story on it. They had Marvin Gaye, uh, April 2nd, such and such. They had the dash, and then they said April, through April 1st, 1984. She said, let me tell you something. His birth date, his death date, none of that matters. The only thing that matters is that, is that little dash in between. And she said that dash matters because that's the legacy. That's how people will remember you the day that you leave this earth. Well, the following year, my grandmother got sick and I'm, I'm hearing this word float around and I'm hearing this word cancer float around. And on March 1st, 1986, I walked into um, our apartment. And I see my mom in the middle of the floor. She's crying like she's three years old. I knew she died. I knew she was gone. Worst day. Worst day, man. My grandmother's death affected me for a really long time. And on March 15, 2014, when we played Morgan State in the MEAC Championship, it was about 10 seconds remaining, and I just zoned out. I just heard my granny's voice saying, Puffy, I'm so proud of you, baby. I'm so proud of you. And my emotions slipped away because it seemed as though every hardship, every pitfall, and every setback from my life flashed before my eyes as she was talking to me and it was in that moment that I realized that my grandmother was my guardian angel and she had protected me for years through her prayers and her devotion.